So guys, today we're back for another video on the channel today. We're here for the Newcastle United vs Chelsea game. I managed to get this video out after reading Super's press conference. I've just gotten from work and I'm going to be recording today's video. And I've seen Super's press conference and thankfully I did because I've learned a lot. And my predicted team would have been different compared to just predicting the team of what I know. Make sure to watch the preview, lads. I put it at the top, link in the description and on the end screen. But anyways, lads, let's get in the video now. Let me know if you agree with my team. And yeah, let's get in the video now. So this is my predicted team for the game versus Chelsea. Many changes, a formation change as well for my game versus Southampton. For me, this is our best team going forward for the game against Chelsea. Your body's looking, no Wilson, no Fraser. For me, there's no point risking Callum Wilson at Chelsea at home. Fair enough if it's like a Leeds or a, or a Fulham or a West Brom in the next couple of, in the next couple of weeks. We need him for them games. We need a goal scorer for them games. In my opinion... Don't risk him. Don't even put him on the bench. Put Andy Carroll on the bench and just do not risk him, Bruce Wright. A bit of shame to see Wilton. Uh, he want, he said that he wants to play, but for me, you don't play him. You don't risk him. We need him for the next couple of weeks where they are massive to pick up some points. Let's go for the full team now, lads. In goal, Carl Darlow. He's got a start. He's had a good season so far. He's going to start. Uh, he's been playing Murphy and right wing back. And for me, we'll just go about the 4 2 3 1. What we know and what we. What we need, I think he will. My play, he might play a five back, but for me, having Mankiw has got to come in. Mankiw has been good, and then he just somehow just gets up the team for no reason. For me, you've got to bring him back in. You've got to bring him, in, bring him back in, and right back. In my opinion, centre backs, I've dropped Shea uh, and kept Lascelles and Fernandez. I really think it should be Shaw and Fernandez, but I don't think Steve Bruce will do that. And then left back Jamal Lewis, midfield. If if Jeff Hendrick actually starts the game, I want Steve Bruce to leave the club and get him. I, I, I still do, but that's going to hit the nail on the head. If if Jeff Hendrick, after the international duty that he's had, if he starts against Chelsea, I will be going wild. <laughs> so you want to be saying that. If Jeff Hendrick starts, I will be going ballistic, right? But when you look at uh, who I would play, Matty Longstaff. He hasn't started a game yet. Start him. Give him some game time. Yeah, he's came back from an injury. He's been back from an injury for a couple of weeks now. Play him. And one man we've got to play is Isaac Hayden. It's a special game for him. He's an Arsenal lad. Obviously, he hates Chelsea. Scoring that 94th minute winner nearly a year ago now. The last goal we've seen at St. James's. Uh, he's got to start. He has to start. From someone who's scored in the 94th minute, right? Next time you play them, right? He's the, he's a professional and what he can do to get into the Chelsea minds, like the younger players. He can get a Mason, Mason Mount's mind from what he done last season. Fact. Right? It happens. So you've got to start him. In the attack, I, I wanted Miggy or Fraser at start, but they aren't looking likely. So, Sean Longstaff in a more advanced role, where he looks so much better. Obviously, I was in an Xbox party with him. So... Last week, uh, which was mad. So I've got to start him now. He's the boy who put uh, Sean Longstaff in Cam. He's looked much better being in a Cam role. He scored the goal against Oxford last season. He started a couple of games uh, near the end of like last season, like when it was Bournemouth away. He scored that goal, and then he then he got injured and whatnot. For me, Sean Longstaff starting Cam. Who else we're gonna play? Almond's literally just came back last night or coming back today or something. I don't know. Uh, Miggy can't start either because he's not going to start. He can't start a player who wants to leave the club. He don't. So for me, you start Sean Longstaff there. Uh, Sean, if you're watching, because he knows about the channel now. Uh, I don't think he will be, but let's get the rest of the team. Murphy. Uh, I want uh, Miggy or Fraser playing there. I want ideally fucking Fraser, but Murphy, we've got no one else. Jake or Murphy will do. Goat, left mid. And then the even bigger goat, Joe Linton up top, I think. It'd be nice to see Joe Linton get some game time. He nearly scored against Chelsea last season. Hit the crossbar, I remember. But, lads, that is my predicted team. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Who would you put in? Uh, injuries, we're still looking at Paul Dummett. Shelby's not ready. Richie's not ready. Obviously, Wilson, I've sp spoke about him. And Fraser's not even trained this week, which is a disappointment. But, that's my predicted team, lads. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. I'll say he's off the game tomorrow. How are the lads?